Hi, I'm Dr. J from Modern Statistics. Are you in need of converting data from one format to another? Let's say you are just learning how to perform statistics in SPSS, which is one of the leading statistical software among many others such as data, SAS, or R in the computing industry. But the data you found for your research or your study is only available in Excel or CSV data such as this. Now, I'll demonstrate how to convert the data saved or created in an Excel file to SPSS. And once it is converted to SPSS data, I'll show you how easy it is then to convert it back to many other data formats. Now, first things first, let's zoom in on this Excel file. Before you convert or some say transfer your data from Excel to SPSS or something else, it helps to have the first row represent the name of each column or we say variable names. If that's not the case and your data start directly from the first row, it will still be converted to SPSS just fine. But what will happen is that SPSS then will assign a system generated column name like variable one, variable two, variable three, and so on. If not having a variable name on top in the Excel data doesn't bother you because it's a large data set with so many columns that you don't have time to manually enter variable names or because you have data dictionary that describes what each column measures, then that's okay too. Okay, all you need to do at this point is just to remember where you saved this Excel file in your computer uh, and we'll find it in SPSS. In my case, I saved this on my desktop, so it's easy for me to find it. Now let's open a blank SPSS. Um, and we'll fetch the Excel data directly into here. Now go to file, select open and select data. What we're looking for is that Excel data, right? Now I saved it in desktop, but it's not here. Well, that's because SPSS initially looks for file type that is SPSS. Now click anywhere there to see the drop down menu of all the different file types that SPSS can open. As you can see it, it can open all kinds of data files, including Excel, CSV, text file, SAS, Stata, and so on. The data in the Excel file is actually saved in CSV format, so we'll click CSV. Then we have the data we're looking for. Select the file and click open. Then this window will pop up. Don't worry about anything here, just click next. Then on the second window or in step two of six, it is asking are variable names used at the top of your file? Yes. And the line number that contains the variable name, one, of course. And SPSS will, by default, ask what is used as the decimal symbol. SPSS figures it out automatically and makes an educated guess. So just let it do that and click Next. It will ask, the first case of data begins on which line number? Of course, that will be two since the first line represents variable names. SPSS asks two more questions below. The answers are obvious at this point in that each line represents a case and that we want to import not just one or two or even 100, but to import all of the cases. SPSS already selects those as your default answers. Click Next. Again, SPSS makes an educated guess on what delimiters are used to distinguish between variables and so on based on its algorithm. Take a look at the data, take a look at um, on the data preview to see if it looks right to you. It does in this example and click next. Now on this step five, you can choose how SPSS determines the data format for each variable. As default, SPSS chooses 95%. So what that means is that if SPSS sees in each variable that 95% of the values are numeric, like here, then SPSS will identify it as a numeric variable. Click Next. Click Finish. 
and it may take more than a second if it's a large data set that you are converting. And here is the data converted into SPSS. And here is the Excel file for comparison. Now, let's say you need to convert this SPSS data back to either Excel or back to another data format. Well, nothing is easier in life than converting this SPSS data file to another data file. And I truly mean that because all you have to do is really just save it to just save it as whatever format you want. Just go to file, select save as, and choose whatever format you want the SPSS data to be converted to. That's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful to those who are learning SPSS for the first time or are being required to do some kind of analysis in SPSS, but everything you find is only available in Excel or in, or in other format. Thank you for watching. See you next time.